Hi, Nancy Spears with Gen Connect, and today at the Aspen Food and Wine Classic, I'm so fortunate to again be sitting with Bobby Stuckey. How are you, Bobby? I'm great, Nance. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, always, always a pleasure. So, for one of the youngest chefs here, you still have quite an evolution of career. I mean, you started with Scarpetta as yeah. your winery, right? Yeah. How's that going? It's going great. You know, we we make wine in Friuli, Italy, and why do Lachlan and I do that? Well, we do that because our restaurant Frosca is based on the region of Friuli, Italy, so there's a great connection there. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then, did that inspire Frosca? Is that no Frosca first? first? Okay, sorry. I mean, my background. I met Lachlan working at the French Laundry. I actually, at one time, I was here. I was the wine director at the Little Nell, and then we uh, opened Frosca 11 years ago. From there, Scarpetta, and then now the, the next phase is our pizzerias. So Frosca is still um, a tough reservation to get. I was recently there for New Year's Eve, actually. It was amazing. So congratulations on that. Are you doing anything different, or do you don't want to screw with the recipe? <laughs> no, I think Frosca is about delving into this inspiration of a style of restaurant in Friuli, Italy. So it lets you not have to tr tr chase trends. It lets you just keep focusing and meditating on a certain style. Okay, and what's the number one dish that people will come there for? I would have to think, I think, the, I think everyone are, are drawn to eating prosciutto San Daniele because they mm -hmm. walk in, they see that antique slicer, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I gotta have some sliced prosciutto off that. So just by sheer numbers, it's amazing how many tables have that. And then after that, it might go into something like uh, maybe the risotto that Lachlan does, uh, riso marinara. So it's a, a, a seafood-based risotto. I think that's something that people, they see it done table side, they want it, that's for sure. Fantastic. So, and then just to completely display your versatility, you uh, went from fine dining to a pizzeria with yes. Chipotle. And yeah. tell us how that's going. You just opened in Denver last year? Yeah, we opened two in Denver. So what happened was the long story is we moved a chef who'd worked at Frosca for a long time. And so Frosca's all based on Friuli and he wanted to see a different part of Italian cookery. We moved him to Naples, Italy five, six years ago for six months. We, we paid his salary like he was working at Frosca, got him set up in an apartment, let him meditate on pizza, uh, pizza Napolitana style. We opened the original pizzeria locally right next to Frosca, more of a sit down pizzeria. And then the last couple, year and a half, we've been, um, we've now have a joint venture with Chipotle where we, it's more of a pizza locale 2.0. So you can walk in, there's no wait staff, it's more quicker service, but still using those same great ingredients. So we've opened two in Denver. We're gonna open one in Kansas City in July, one in Fabulous. Cincinnati in the fall, and another one in Kansas City. That's gonna take off. Oh, we'll see. But I mean, how how intuitive of you, and it just shows your um, intensity around doing everything perfect to actually move an employee to, to Naples, Italy, to learn how to make pizza. Yeah, very good. Congratulations. Thank you. I wish you all the best with that. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks. So, for more with Bobby uh, Stucky, please go to Fresca. Check him out on Gen Connect, and um, you'll see him also on Scarpetta. Yeah. Yeah.